Two important things happened today in the fourth son of our president. First, of course, he shared his thoughts on certain mm. issues and his accomplishments. And second, na elect na po bilang uh, Speaker of the House si dating Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano with a vote of uh, 266. Yes. Uh, Richard, what are your thoughts about uh, the son? Well, as far as the son of the president is concerned, uh, yung pasok niya, I was very confident. No? Sabi niya kaagad, 3% lang yung disapproval sa kanya. At ni-remind niya yung mga congressman dyan na, dapat hindi kayo kasama dyan, no? So, he's definitely asking for loyalty. He's a very confident president. Highest ever approval rating for any president, at least in the Philippines, sa, sa buong kasaysayan natin. His allies did very well doon sa midterm elections. So, he's essentially coming in and saying, okay guys, we have, we have two or three years more left. Let's get the job done, no? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, yung issue na finokos niya is very interesting. So, dinikit niya yung issue ng Marawi and narco politics right away. And then, in-emphasize na essentially, you need more of me. You need more of an iron will, no? Iron-fisted leader para maayos tong problema na to. So, nag-pivot siya right away sa issue ng law and order where he is most uh, comfortable, no? So, that's a very interesting entry. Iniwasan niya yung kritisismo dun sa pagbagal ng rehabilitation ng Marawi, among other things, or even kritisismo dun sa human rights track record niya by saying that you need a strong leader otherwise you'll have more Marawi crisis and dapat magpasalamat ang mga tao sa Marawi na we avoided an ISIS overtake there. So this is a very confident president and law and order kagat yung issue na finokos niya once he got into his speech. How about uh, the election of uh, Alan Peter Cayetano? Uh, might not be surprising for mm. people, pero ano ang implication? Yes, again, atong pinapakita dito na napakalakas pa rin yung endorsement power ni Paolo Duterte. He's still the central organizing principle no, sa ating politika because Alan Peter Caetano was not even in the race for a very long time, di ba? At uh, uh, in fact, ayon nila Sara Duterte, mukha kay, uh, kay uh, nang Speaker of the House, Alan Peter Caetano, and yet, may last minute, 11th hour endorsement si Paolo Duterte and immediately got 266 votes. No? Just like that. Just like that. So that that means talagang lakas ng endorsement power ni Paolo Duterte. And it also shows na if you're loyal to the president, it will pay off. At huwag natin kalimutan, the president also emphasized dun sa opening ng kanyang Sona speech, nagpapasalamat siya sa mga tao na who's, you know, who were there with him in the toughest times. Mahalaga din issue na ito dahil last year nagkaroon tayo ng, you know, essentially legislative coup. Kaya na-delay yung speech ni Paolo Duterte. This time, medyo late siya. So this time, smooth yung transition ng leadership. So having the right leadership dyan sa lower house of uh, the Congress is very, very important. At mukhang nakuha ni Paolo Duterte ito at kailangan niya ito because the president only has around six to seven quarters before he becomes a lame duck. And he has to get difficult legislative uh, reforms through and mukhang kampante siya kay Alan Peter Caetano to help him in that regard.